My name is Katie Hallstrom. I have a rare form of lupus called lupus cerebritis. I also have a geoglastoma brain tumor. With this condition, the symptoms are severe headaches, seizures, double vision, loss of vision in several case, cases, left-sided weakness, fibromyalgia, kidney issues, and the list goes on. I am currently taking 26 medications um, and have been for quite some time. That includes 120 milligrams of prednisone twice a day, which is an extremely high steroid. I'm on several narcotics for pain relief. And then I'm also on many medications that pretty much just aside, they don't cure you, they don't put you into remission. All they do is just help side effects, help reduce the pain of side effects. I've also been on chemo and radiation. My doctors back home have pretty much told me that there is nothing more that they can do for me and that eventually in a short period of time between the lupus and the cancer, I would pass away in not so many words. So um, I decided to look at different avenues and that an expiration date should never given, be given to a person. So we found out about stem cell treatment um, from my aunt who went to church with Dave Keller, who is associated with Geostar, and he told us about the treatments. My husband and I got on and did a bunch of research, got family and friends involved, found out what everybody thought, talked to my doctors, and everybody said that I should absolutely do this. So that's when the process happened. Oh, the facility and the staff are great. Um, I've been working hand-on-hand -hand with Dr. Garza here in Mexico. Dr. Aman um, has been in touch with me several times via phone calls. He has all my medical records. Dr. Garza keeps track of everything. Um, I talk to Mr. Keller if I have any issues at all. But everybody has been amazing from Sofia Del Casto making all my flight arrangements, itinerary here, picking me up, getting me to the hospital, anything I need, you know, she's just a email away. And so the facility is great. It's very clean. They've done a great job with me. After the first treatment, I noticed slight improvements as in maybe a little bit more energy, um, but nothing substantial. After the second treatment was when we really started noticing huge improvements. Um, I was having multiple seizures a week and my seizures are grand mal and I can have anywhere from eight to 15 in a row. I have many strokes from them. I just get like, severely sick. Um, I've had brain bleeds, I've had aneurysms, I've had blood clots. I mean, anything you can think of we've experienced. And since the second treatment, those things have decreased immensely. I do still have my bad days, um, but my bad days are a lot less than my good days. And for me, for, that's all that matters. If you're considering stem cell therapy, I highly suggest that you take a look at your medical condition, do your research. You know, if this is an option that is available to you, do everything in your power to make yourself feel better. You yourself, you're your long-term investment. If you are not here and you are not healthy, then the others around you, nothing matters because you won't be there for them. So if you get diagnosed with a chronic illness or you have doctors telling you you're gonna die, putting an expiration date on you, think about how many family members, how many friends, how many loved ones you have out there and you do everything you can to find a cure. So, you know, I had never even heard of stem cell research. We did all this research on it and why not? Like, why not give it a try? This could be the cure. And for me, it's working right now and I have an extremely complicated medical case. So it's working for me, it could work for you. Do anything you can. There's nothing more important than your health. So put it first over everything.
Just thank you to my friends and my family, my husband, my parents, my sister, all my cousins, everyone. Thank you for standing by me through all this and for seeing me through. I really appreciate it. And done with treatment number three. A couple more to go and then we're out. I have one more part, part to this treatment today. And then I'm going to unfortunately have to come back in a couple months for reinforcement um, treatment, which is fine. But I've got three kids at home and, you know, I've never really let the illness completely take me down. So I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing and help others along the way, you know. Anytime you get help, you got to turn around and help somebody else. So I hope that this helps ease some people's minds and, you know, people get nervous about going to Mexico for medical treatment in this facility. You won't know the difference. It's great. The people are great here. They'll explain everything to you. They speak good English. You'll be fine. Come take the chance. Take the opportunity to feel better. I did, and I'm 28 years old, and I'm here. So you guys can do it. No matter how old you are, it's never too late to have your health back.